Welcome everyone. Thank you all for joining us. I'm sorry about the technical difficulties, but we are ready to get started. I am Peter Whalen. I'm one of the designers on the Hearthstone team, and I am joined here by Regis Kilbin, streamer extraordinaire. Hey, Peter. Thank you for the nice introduction, guys. If you don't know me, I'm a YouTuber streamer. I, uh, I like to have fun in Hearthstone, and I think that's exactly what we're going to do today, talking about Rastakhan's Rumble. It's Peter, it, tell me about it. It should be pretty awesome. We we have a bunch of cards to reveal. We're going to show off, I think, five cards, and then we're going to do a bit of gameplay. We're going to play a game against the amazing Ryan Masterson, and uh, we'll we'll show off some cards in that way. We're going to win a game we against are, Ryan we're Masterson. absolutely going to win a game. <laughs> and it good. depends a little bit on which deck you guys pick for us. We have two decks planned out, and you're going <laughs> to vote to decide which team we actually get to play. Mage. But before we do that, uh, let me ask you a couple of questions. How are you? What do you think about the expansion so far? Well, I, you know, Peter, it's it's one of my favorite themes we've had in a really long time. I like all of them, but I, you know, I grew up playing World of Warcraft, spending time in the Gurubashi Arena. So this feels like a real nostalgic trip back to me. Uh, it, it's going to be amazing. I love trolls. I love Loas. You guys nailed it with a fantasy. So I'm incredibly excited. I think I'm more excited about Roscon's Rumble than maybe I've ever been before. And the cards we've seen so far are already incredible. So I can't wait to see what's in store for today. That's awesome. I spent a lot of time stealthed in Gurubashi Arena, <laughs> waiting for other people to fight so I could just ninja the chest. I don't know what you were doing there, but... <laughs> well, we used to be friends. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Gurubashi Arena is amazing. And now we've got all of the troll teams from across Azeroth coming together to just beat each other up. Which Loa are you going to root for? Well, you know, I, I'm kind of waiting until we see all the different Loa cards until I decide exactly who I'm going to pledge my allegiance to. But so far, I think I'm with Buan Samdi and his right. zombies, mostly because of the rhyme. Buan Samdi zombies they do is, have the best name. is incredible, but also just a recognizable character from Warcraft lore that I that I connect to. So uh, that's probably where I'm at. Plus, the spirit card looks amazing in combination with Buan Samdi. I'm really excited to try all kinds of different decks there. So for now, Buan Samdi, but I'm reserving the right to change as we see more Loa cards. I hope we're going to see any today. I don't know what cards we're going to see, <laughs> but I hope so. I hope I, maybe I'll change well, my... Well, well, we'll see. So I guess that means we should we should start taking a look at some cards. But uh, <laughs> before we do, let's introduce the new mechanic for this expansion. It is Overkill. Overkill is the keyword that captures the trolls just styling on their opponents. And it means that if your card deals extra damage more than you need to kill a minion, or actually the enemy hero, then you get a bonus. So we've seen things like Baited Arrow, which is a spell that does three damage. And so, and with Overkill, summon a 5-5 five five Dinosaur. So if it does like dinosaurs. more damage than you need to a minion, you've got a two health minion, then you get a 5-5 five five Dinosaur out of it. Yeah, that's incredible, and, and uh, it's exciting. So are we going to see an Overkill card now? We are Peter? going to see uh, an Overkill card right now, <laughs> and I heard you, you like dinosaurs. I do love dinosaurs. So let's flip it. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> the Iron Hide Dire Horn, a seven mana, seven, seven. Overkill, summon a five, five Iron Hide Runt. So <laughs> it's not just one dinosaur. It sounds like we're going to get two dinosaurs, and this is for Druid. So uh, talk me through this card, Peter. What, what do you like about this one? Why is this so exciting and such a great fit for Druid? So, I mean, it's a 7-7 seven, seven dinosaur. I like dinosaurs a lot, too. I really, really <laughs> like dinosaurs. Uh, this is, in fact, not the only dinosaur we're going to see on stream today. But uh, this is one of the cards that we were talking about doing for BlizzCon, actually. When the audience Ooh. voted, there were three cards that we didn't get to see at BlizzCon, and this is, this is one of them. Uh, we actually got to see Baited Arrow instead. They're both pretty cool cards. There's a, a several overkill cards that play into the dinosaur thing, mostly because dinosaurs are giant and smashy and like styling on their opponents or just like squishing them. So this yeah. is one of those pieces. W one thing I like about a card like this is that, you know, I'm, this is the first time I'm seeing it, but sometimes you're playing a big minion in Hearthstone, like one of these big kind of mid to late game style minions that maybe doesn't have taunt or a battle cry. You can just feel like you play out the stats and maybe it doesn't do anything immediately. But Giving it overkill means that it's going to have a, an ability to kind of spin up over time and start to add up to a lot of extra value because the overkill can't just go off once. It could go off twice, three times. And Absolutely. suddenly pl playing this minion where you're committing a lot of tempo and a lot of mana to it, that's going to pay off. And it allows you to snowball into some really cool opportunities, which, of course, in Druid is an especially good fit because you have all the ramp cards in Druid. So seven mana for Druid doesn't always sure, feel like, like two seven or turn mana. Three or whatever, <laughs> exactly. Right? You're playing Wild Growth and a Nourish and Iron Dire Horn. And then if your opponent can't 
can't answer it immediately, it can start to do some crazy things. So I can already envision a lot of decks uh, for this card. Not to mention, I mean, look at that incredible artwork. We've got, uh, I don't <laughs> even know exactly what kind of dinosaur this guy is. I, it's a dire horn. It's a, <laughs> the Triceratops type. Ah, the Triceratops of the Hearthstone world. But he's got all kinds of different uh, armor and, and some uh, yeah, crazy... Yeah, trolls love decking their, tr their dinosaur I don't even armor. know what this is. Uh, some kind of skull cannon, it looks like, <laughs> on the side. I'm yeah, not even absolutely. totally sure. But this looks like an incredible card. It's, so, it's pretty cool. So, Peter, walk me through Overkill a little more. Like, what was the process for d determining this keyword? And, like, did it start out as something else and change into the final version? Sure, Describe yeah. So, Overkill something we've had for years, since before I joined the Hearthstone team, that maybe, like, three or four years ago, really? it was one of the things we were exploring for Blackrock Mountain. So, like, we have dragons, and dragons are big, and it's the theme for Blackrock. And so we wanted a um, keyword that said, you've got giant minions, let's make them awesome. And so overkill, something in that vein. In that case, it was more damage was going to carry over to the enemy hero, which wasn't actually the most fun version of it. So when we got to Witchwood, we were trying other versions of it. We had Splatter, which is a great name. Hmm. Uh, and it meant <laughs> your damage, when you hit a minion, <laughs> carried over to minions nearby. Uh, and so it would, you know, it would splash and kill all, your, all of your opponent's overhand recruits. It was okay. Uh, but there was a lot of randomness there, and it felt kind of bad, and you felt dumb when you played your 1-1, and it, the damage splashed over and killed your 6-6. Mm. So we, we tried it out again with Rastakhan's Rumble because we wanted another thing that captured the styling on your opponent. And this was the best version that we found of it. It's actually really cool. The binary, do you get the bonus, do you not get the bonus, uh, has very interesting decision-making. Uh, we tried the version where it was just overkill, gain armor, and so you would get armor for each point of overkill. So mm. if you overkilled by seven, you'd get seven armor or draw seven cards or whatever the card was. Uh, that was okay, but it had the problem where, again, you felt bad if you played your one ones. It was also a little bit mathy, and we couldn't make cards that were as interesting because they have to scale up to right. a lot. Uh, there's not that many things in Hearthstone that scale up to a lot. You can't summon, like, eight five fives. Your board just doesn't have that much space. <laughs> right. Uh, so the binary thing let us do cards that were more exciting and cooler. Uh, in general, we have overkill cards, and they tend to do two or three damage. Uh, there's a handful of cards that, that do more than that, but the reason is it's just more interesting when it's the two, three, four, five, because you're trying to figure out how exactly do I trade my minion in. One's not that interesting for overkill for obvious reasons. <laughs> it's very hard to make it happen. You'd have to buff or add to it, yeah. Um, but seven is a lot. It's not an yeah. interesting decision, but tends to make you feel really good for smashing their minion instead of going face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So am I hearing that, that maybe most or all of the overkill cards we're going to see in Roscon's Rumble will be that binary style? They yep. won't be based? Okay. That, that's o overkill's always binary. That's good to know. And I think one of the cool things about overkill is the sort of impact or influence it's going to have on smaller minions, tokens, things like Shaman Hero Power or Paladin Hero Power suddenly become a lot interesting, more interesting and, and risky, perhaps even, yeah, in absolutely. an overkill environment. So that could really make some big changes to the meta and how things move around. I'm really there, there's definitely some gameplay there. I'm really excited to see that. So this is a great dinosaur. I like Ironhide and Diehorn a lot, but I have a feeling this is not your your favorite dinosaur, Peter. This so is not my favorite dinosaur <laughs> in the set. What what is your favorite dinosaur? Tell me. My favorite dinosaur of all time, King Crush. My favorite <laughs> dinosaur in this expansion. Let's take a look. Oh, oh my gosh. Undasta, a nine man, another seven seven. Dinosaurs I mean, are seven sevens. Dinosaurs so are seven seven. What a can neutral say? legendary here. Uh, incredible artwork. Rush and Overkill, summon a beast from your hand. So Overkill and Rush, now that is a powerful combination because yeah. there's a lot of board states where you can basically guarantee and instantly activate that Overkill. Yep and do some really exciting things. So tell me about the design process behind Undasta. Yeah, Rush and Overkill are, are great together. It was actually one of those things we had to be really careful about on the design side is don't just put Rush on every Overkill card because it feels so good. Let's just do it where it really matters. It turns out Undasta is where it really matters. <laughs> uh, this is a great card for if you've got giant beasts in your deck, like, say, King Crush uh, or... Other dinosaurs? <laughs> King Crush Charge Devil Sword seems like it might be a great fit, too. We can Iron High Dire to... Horn, say. <laughs> you're just making a giant beast deck. Uh, Undas is a great fit for it. And you're basically guaranteed to get the trigger. You've got Rush. You can. There's always something on the board that has less than 7 health. If there isn't something on the board that has less than 7 health, 
you're probably either really happy or just <laughs> really you're, you're dead. You're in a good spot anyway, or a really <laughs> bad spot. So. Or there's just like four tarantuses on the other side. And <laughs> you're not winning that game. Exactly. So this seems like it'd be uh, you know the best, most obvious fit in Hunter, but it is a neutral legendary. So yeah. we already saw a great big beast with the Iron Hired Die Horn for Druid. Yep. Druid also has a lot of other beast cards. Yeah, Tyrantus, for example. <laughs> Tyrantus is a perfect example. But are there any other surprising use cases for this card? Maybe in other classes. I'm thinking there are some you know general beasts out there. The so or creepers of the world, but that would be the most Almost every exciting. single Loa is a beast. Oh, of course. Of course. So, so uh, Shrivala is a great pull off of this. If uh, you if you decided that you don't want to put big spells in your deck or like any spells, you could put Undasa in instead and you oh, can pull out your Shrivala. That's very cool because otherwise you'd have to play lots of big spells to reduce the cost of your Shrivala to right. make it playable. If you guys don't remember, it starts at 25 mana. Its cost is reduced by, by spells. But with Undasa, you can cheat that. And then you have two seven attack rush minions hitting the field. Yeah, and on the life same stealing turn. a lot. Oh and my gosh. It can be an enormous swing. And every Loa, except for Buon Samdi, is a beast too. So a lot of ways to play this. That is really exciting. Some of them are less good with this card. Like, Hyreek is not that great. <laughs> right. You don't want to pull a 1 1 by itself on the board. So if it has right. a battle cry, it's not going to be a good fit. But still. But a lot of those classes don't do a lot of beast stuff anyway. Right. So Undas is particularly interesting because you can guarantee you're just going to pull out your Shrivala because your your Paladin deck doesn't have very many. Well, and we have actually seen some some beasts snuck into Paladin in, in previous expansions. I believe it's the Divine Charger, Divine Seed. I'm blanking on uh, the name. Yeah, but yeah. The, the Rush guy. Exactly, the Rush, uh, the the horse for for Paladin. That is a beast, right? I think there, I, was, there was some. There was I think some, so. Yeah. There was some mix up there, but I think that's right. Uh, but anyway, a great card with a lot of potential. So that's that's pretty darn exciting. Yeah. So now I, I've heard that you know dinosaurs long long ago but what's the what's the modern day version of a dinosaur peter well we needed to have some really important cards you could pull from Undasta, some like right. some powerful beasts especially with overkill synergies and we love chickens like chickens mm. are really the modern day version of dinosaurs mm, they and are. in birds evolved from uh, dinosaurs <laughs> birds of course and so uh <laughs> if you look at gurubashi arena we needed to have a gurubashi chicken ah Let's see, Gurabashi Chicken, a one-mana, one-one beast with overkill, gain plus five attack. Now, you <laughs> you teased this a second ago that it's hard for a one-attack minion to work with overkill. It is. But this is very reminiscent of our friend, the Angry Chicken. It is. It's the angriest chicken. It's <laughs> Instead of Enrage or, or taking damage, buffing it, now we've got it's got to have overkill to be buffed. So yeah. you've got to find some sneaky ways to get this at a higher attack level so that it can activate this overkill and get to an even higher attack level. So all kinds of beast synergy cards. I'm thinking about things like Houndmaster, for instance, might work really, really well. For sure. Or just Blessing of Kings. <laughs> blessing of Kings and Paladin. Paladin has a lot of buffs. Maybe this is the basis for a new quest buff Paladin deck. That could be pretty exciting. Or so at least, like, more chicken memes. We'll <laughs> take more chicken memes. <laughs> you were very close to the chicken world, Peter. I, I uh, had, I've had a lot of experience with chicken <laughs> memes in the last <laughs> maybe couple you're, months. Maybe you're the Gurubashi chicken. So, uh, you know, Paladin, Hunter seem like good fits for this. But you know what else might work nicely? I'm, I'm almost envisioning a bit of a beast token Druid deck. Maybe, sure, you, maybe yeah. you get out some early minions in Druid. You buff them up with things like Power of the Wild. Do some Mark of Yasharaj and Wild, oh, like Wild Token exactly, Beast. Exactly, yes. Uh, and then suddenly you've got this really, really scary chicken. And, and, and by the way, can we talk about this artwork? Does it have an axe? For a face? Uh, no, no, they just <laughs> they just put an axe on his face. He's just a normal chicken <laughs> with an axe on his face. Can you imagine a chicken flying at you with an axe on its face? That's actually what yes, it will feel like yes. in the game when this, <laughs> when this happens. I, I, I hope that you uh, like had to get in wardrobe and costume to mock this up for the <laughs> artist. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is it's a fantastic piece. I, I actually really like it. I think I think it's a pretty adorable card. It's not the cutest card in the set by far, but. Uh, <laughs> it's, I think it's it's pretty cool. It's adorable in a scary way, a bit like Feral Gibber, one of my <laughs> favorite cards. Like, hey, Feral Gibber is actually cute. <laughs> it's kind of cute, but also like a little a little bit terrifying, which a which I like. A little terrifying. So, are, are there any other interesting use cases or, or fun stories or examples uh, you have of this card? There's the Hunter spell, Bestial Wrath, that gives mm, it immune and plus attack. Ooh. So that's that's another way you can make it make it get plus five attack. That's a really cool example. Yeah, uh, we, we tried this out once upon a time and designed it. Overkill get plus 10 plus 10 because we thought it was going to be so oh hard boy. to do. Turns out we can't do that. That's actually just insane. <laughs> <laughs> for a one mana guard, that's a, a lot of For a one mana guard with, with Bestial Wrath, uh, among other things. Yeah, that was. That lasted for 
about one game. Uh, of course, yeah. Well, that's cool. So I think we have even more cards to see, Peter. What's what's up next here? What are you uh, going to show So me? yeah, we're going to show the other two cards from BlizzCon that we didn't reveal. Ooh. So this is the one that was up against Void Contract. This is a Paladin Epic spell. A new challenger. Oh, seven mana spell for Paladin. Big spells we know, good for Shrivala. Says Great for discover Shrivala, yeah. a six cost minion. Summon it with Taunt and Divine Shield. Wow. So only paying a small price here for mana, getting a six cost minion, seven mana to do so, but you're giving it Taunt and Divine Shield, so it becomes this instant infusion of a big defensive body on board. And I'm trying to think of six mana minions might be a great fit Boulder Fist Ogre? Boulder Fist Ogre. <laughs> Straight but, up know, Boulder Fist Ogre is pretty good with Taunt exactly, and Divine Shield. Exactly, yeah, for seven mana. I, Karen Bloodhoof came to mind for me. Karen like, is just great. a big pile uh, of stats. Uh, mechanical Dragon. From Ooh. from Boomsday, the oh. two two summon a seven seven. Yeah, you get, seven, seven. <laughs> so you get an annoying little token taunt and a bit Which like a righteous good. protector, but it's got a seven seven hiding behind it. That's incredible, and I'm sure there are going to be even more six cost minions we haven't even seen yet. Uh, yeah. in Rostigan's Rumble, so I, you know the, it's, the it's actually surprisingly interesting. We tried a bunch of different numbers. We tried to discover a seven cost minion. We tried to discover an eight cost minion. We tried six, and six was actually the coolest, the one that there was the most interesting decisions. Oh, Wind Fury Harpy. Ooh. Is is pretty legit if you That's give it to Mindshield. To and then you could set it up for buffs with Blessing of Kings I, yeah, or Bone exactly. Mare on eight, whatever on curve exactly. play you want to make, and then boom. Hitting for a ton. Now that's that's really nice, and of course it fits too with all kinds of different paladin synergies. They love Divine Shield. They yep. often like to play, you know, slower style. Well, they can in the past, maybe not nowadays. That said, is this maybe the making of a new control paladin? Maybe but a heal paladin? Potentially. You've, we've seen timeout, which is Ooh. the defensive tool for paladins, like kind of pseudo ice block. Yeah. A three mana spell, your hero is immune until your next turn. So maybe I know. something in that space. I know that a control paladin is something I'd love to <laughs> see return. We've had odd paladin, even paladin, a lot of faster paladins lately. I want some greedy, big minions, you know, control yeah. uh, paladin returning, lots of healing, lots of taunts, lots of divine shields, and, and just stay alive forever. That's what I want to see. So a card like this uh, that looks pretty exciting that's a neat opportunity and that, that brings us to a good philosophical point that we've seen a lot of these very aggressive paladin decks and so we tend to when there's lots of aggressive paladin decks in the metagame and we can't make them lots better we tend to make cards that go towards other archetypes things oh, like shirvala a new challenger yeah of course <laughs> uh that that play into the more defensive side and we haven't seen the the spirit of the tiger or some of those other types of pieces but because you've seen shirvala that kind of big spell paladin deck this, this slots into it yeah. in a pretty good way oh man maybe even a spiteful summoner deck here i'm always <laughs> looking for ways to oh, play that, spiteful summoner. A good dream, although yeah. seven mana is not as good anymore with giggling inventor in the pool so <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tougher true, true. to make it work at uh it's seven mana and paladin has some good eight cost spells all right anyway. well i think that brings us to a legendary minion the card that was <laughs> against Hexlord Malakras at BlizzCon. That's exciting. He lost the fight there, but... Zintimo, the legendary troll champion for Shaman. Three mana, one, three. Whenever you target a minion with a spell, it also targets adjacent ones. Ah, very yeah. cool. Now, we've seen similar effects like trading with a cave hydra, you know, hitting hitting uh, minions adjacent to things. There's yep. been spells that have done that themselves, but never a minion that sets that up for spells. So there are really two ways to use this. One is, uh, you know, you could lightning bolt your opponent's minions and sure. suddenly you hit three minions. But Turn also them all into frogs. <laughs> you could hex times three. Wow, that actually seems really strong. But you could also use it on your own stuff too, potentially. Yeah. Uh, hitting some your rock own biter, minions. some wind fury. Oh. Who can say? <laughs> rock biter. <laughs> is intriguing. Wind Fury. Are we actually going to see Wind Fury in play, Peter, because oh, of Zintimo? We'll, we'll see. <laughs> that would be incredible. That, that's a scary thought. <laughs> oh, but, man. That's but maybe, yeah, there's some cool stuff you can do with him. That's intriguing. And uh, also, I will say, like, it, it kind of feels a bit like Electro Storm Surge in a way, too, where you've uh, you've got a minion that's kind of affecting spells in hand and allowing you to do things you otherwise really shouldn't be able to do. Same mana cost. So uh, very neat. And, oh, man. So what what like what are you what kind of deck do I want to put this in? It is a low cost card, so oh, yeah, you could see this in an aggressive deck, maybe like you said with Rock Biters. But I kind of think maybe in a control deck too, it makes a lot of sense. I like that. Yeah, I think if you have a spell type deck where you're doing things like lightning bolts or hexes, that's really where you're gonna get the best value out of it. It's worth calling out if you lightning bolt something, you do overload three times. Oh. You get all of the side effects of the card too. And in the case of overload, that's mostly negative unless oh, you're holding something like Spellstone. It's an emergency or an overload synergy deck. Oh. If you're doing something like that or you've got a tunnel truck out, who can say? <laughs>
Uh, so that kind of thing where you're really removing your opponent's minions with Zentimo, that's that tends to be the best place. And uh, I, I'd like to point out that Shaman in this expansion are all about Kragwa's frogs. And Kragwa's oh. very much in the spiritual side. They're playing up the voodoo and the magic. So you might see some other cards that synergize <laughs> a little more with spells. Oh, I like that tease. I'm excited. I think this card already has a lot of promise just on what we know now, but if there's more coming, that's going to be even better. That's... I think he's pretty cool. There's there's some good stuff that you can do with him, and he works pretty well with Electra too. That you know, you yeah, yeah. I have a feeling there's going to be some crazy combos come out of this one, like some really sneaky stuff. I, I'm I think sure there's going to be some great stories. Uh, exactly. I'm sure the viewers out there are already cooking up lots of things I'm not smart enough to think of uh, just Fill yet. your hand with unstable but... evolutions. <laughs> <laughs> unstable oh, evolution your whole oh, board oh unstable evolution no, that that sounds there's fun. some cool stuff you can do there oh my gosh that sounds so much fun oh wow uh yeah That's so that brings us to some gameplay oh we're gonna get to play uh with some new cards okay so, so. we've got we've got two decks we're gonna take a look at and we're going to see one of the two and which one is up to you so uh you need to hover over the screen to vote we're using a, a twitch extension for it and uh there's either Janalize Dragonhawks, the mage deck, or we're going to take a look at Hyreek's Bats, a Warlock deck that doesn't actually feature Hyreek or the Spirit of Hyreek. It has instead High Priestess Jeklik, the champion of the Bats. Okay. It's worth pointing out, we've shown Void Contract. Void Contract is a cool new Warlock card. It's not in the deck because we were worried about blowing up all of our cool reveal cards. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah. just, to, just to clarify, we're going to play one game. One game. We've got a choice between For two. all of the marbles. <laughs> and we're going to win. we got a choice between two decks. we got a mage deck and a warlock deck. And, and chat is going to vote using an on-screen extension for which deck they prefer. Yep. Mage. <laughs> mage? Not that I want to influence the vote. Mage. <laughs> Or Warlock, maybe. Just a reminder, we haven't seen the Loa for Mage. I, don't, I, don't, I genuinely don't know if it's in the deck, but just a reminder, we haven't seen the Loa for Mage. So, uh, <laughs> it, now, it's, you know, it's intriguing. No influencing, though. <laughs> uh, Regis is an influencer. That's, that's his job, so. <laughs> we can't see the vote. We don't know what you guys we, are. We have no idea what's going we're, on. We're only going to have to, you know, I, I hope you guys will vote for Mage. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to just... I'm going to come out and say it. Uh, wow. Well, I hope you vote for Warlock then. <laughs> you traitor, Peter. <laughs> you traitor. Well, and we have to have some balance. Or, like, pretend to be fair, <laughs> to be balanced here. <laughs> I, I do know the so decks, actually. Maybe you guys should trust Peter. I don't actually know <laughs> what's happening. They're both pretty cool decks. See. So Mage has some good stuff going on. We're always got some good stuff it going on. It sounds like we can't go wrong, Twitch. And, and we're going to win anyway. We're going to play real. Oh, All right. we got word. Right. <laughs> Apparently Mage. We hope that's the one you voted for. We know the winner. Mage wins. And um, we're going to play. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the screen just yet. But uh, Peter, are, are we going to play Chalky here? Uh, apparently. Okay. We're going to play Chalky. I don't know if it's actually Chalky. Yeah, it might be the... Ryan playing on Chalky's <laughs> account. Don't account share. That's yeah, bad. So we're not playing Hyreek the Bat. And we're going to play Channel I have the to Dragon be Hawk. very careful. They, <laughs> they said if I hit the wrong buttons, I could reveal the entire expansion. Oh, man. And believe, <laughs> that's true. believe me, I'm tempted. <laughs> Throw it all away to see yeah, the card. Blizzard Jail forever. But, that would... Yeah, I'm going to be careful. Blizzard Jail is a scary place. There's crumbs of toast everywhere. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna play Mage, and All I'm right. excited. This is I'm uh, excited too. I, I want to see a couple things. I want to see new cards, obviously. This is one of my favorite uh, like archetypes in the expansion. <laughs> I want to see I want to see animations. I want to see artwork. Uh, oh, 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 intriguing! We're already starting oh, off on a high note. Malachras. Already starting off on a high note. So Hexlord Malakras. This card's already been revealed, of course. But just in case anybody hasn't seen it or wants a refresher. Remember Remember, this adds a copy of your opening hand to your hand. So any card we keep in the mulligan later on when we play Hexlord Malakras is going to be added back to our hand. So, so the mulligan is I very mean, we've important. got a combo here. 
If we play Malakras, we get Aragal plus Book of Specters. We have a combo, but they're not new cards, Peter. I'm very... Ah, uh, that's true. I'm worried. But these draw but cards. these are going to give us copies of the new cards? Okay. Yes, you're right. We All get right. multiple iterations. We get it, of multiple cards. iterations? That's good. Now, let me let me ask you, is it a smart idea to keep Hexlord Malakras in hand? Because what we could do is create this chain of infinite... So, Malakras does say accept this oh, card. Oh, accept... Oh, he doesn't work himself. Okay, so there's well, really no it, reason it to keep him there. It actually worked that way for a little bit, oh, but it was just... It was a perfect. little bit too much. Perfect clarification. So, no need to keep him then. We don't need him so we'll look for two other things right that yeah. sound good to you all right and uh oh i'm future regis i don't think chat can see that but future regis oh, is nice. the account here that's all right wonderful. frostbolt frostbolt's a good card frostbolt's a fine card so it's worth pointing out book of specters will discard any new cards oh, that we draw good. except there are no new spells in this deck so we're oh, good to go oh perfect <laughs> you guys <laughs> thought of everything <laughs> there's there's four new cards it. and they're all minions oh, guys we're also on the new mm. board i don't oh, know yeah, if that was a clickables. plan or not I'm a, I guess I'm allowed to click. I don't know. You should, please. Uh, I didn't I, realize we're going to be on the new board. I'm yeah, excited. I, didn't I feel like this is going to come off or do something. Maybe not. Oh, come on, Ryan. <laughs> I mean, sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, wild growth already. Oh, man. It's going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything in particular I should click here? You know, I feel like it takes me a month to well, figure out all the... I, uh, I think we should explore. Yeah. Uh, oh. <gasps> oh, oh, is that going to... Is that going to do different Loa animations? Got, I, I think it's just, got all of them, yeah. Oh, no way. Uh, we need to play Hearthstone, too, though. Don't, chat's going to yell at me. <laughs> um, I guess Loot Hoarder feels fine. I don't think yeah. we need to... Uh, let's just draw yet. cards so we can find new cards. Yeah, let's let's only look for new cards. Oh, that was the frog. Uh, frog, uh, frog. Uh, oh, my I gosh. Bats. That actually looks great. That's really cool. <laughs> I love the colors, how they match up. That's really, really nice. Um, the spirits have really similar come into play animations to that, so it kind of oh, captures that same thing. Oh, very cool. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I thought there was going to be some sequence ah. there I needed to master, but apparently not. All right, we got to think about this. I feel like Frostbolt's probably fine here. Just it's We fine. can trade in first, see what we draw, and then... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I don't know exactly what this deck's going to have in it, but Tar Creeper... I mean, we don't have to Frostbolt, but there's not really much as far as an option is concerned otherwise. Yeah, that's I don't, fine. Right. I don't think. There might be a bigger threat. I don't know that we need to play Glacial Shard for Tempo. I feel like we could maybe save this. Well, we're going to have a lot of cards next turn because we're going to Aragal plus Book Inspectors and draw like six cards. Mm. So it's up to you. Well, what do you think? I think we play it. Okay. All right. Why not? Smorkin, guys. You heard, you heard it. We got to go first. face, right? <laughs> I don't know what the deck's like, so I'm not sure what our. I don't game really plan know is. what the deck's like either. <laughs> Great, we're gonna lose. I, I, I was promised there were no minions, so book inspector or no spells, so book inspectors wasn't gonna ruin it. But okay. I feel like uh, something's gonna happen here, but I never know. You never know quite what the secrets are gonna be. I still don't know the volcano <laughs> sequence for Journey to and Girls board. That's so one of my favorites. I'm really not uh -oh. too good at the board stuff. All right, I'm glad we played this. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, see. Now we're set up to trade a little better. Oh, oh new card! New card, Water Boy. Uh, I can <laughs> I can hear the movie references already. A uh, two mana two one battle cry. Your hero power this turn costs zero. Ah, so we can sneak out some extra hero powers with Water Boy, and that's pretty intriguing too. We've already mm. seen one hero power synergy card for we Mage, have, yeah, um, with the Pyromaniac. So um, that's exciting. That's a pretty neat little card. I feel like I gotta play it now. I'm mostly excited about the Hearthstone water bottles. <laughs> oh, perfect! You're <laughs> right. Oh, that's a, that's a, a product opportunity right there. <laughs> the, <laughs> that's the, a great piece. <laughs> the Blizzard gear team has to get on that <laughs> right away. Those are gonna sell like hotcakes. That's amazing. Uh, I don't know that Water Boy is the right card to play right Doesn't now. Seem I, don't, that good. I don't think we want to play Aragal and Water Boy. We're just gonna lose one to the board. So I think we just slam a Water Ellie and take a trade. Yeah, seems good. And uh, so, what are some of the use cases for the Water Boy here? I mean, there are well, so there's there's some hero power synergy stuff. Mostly, you could have spent two mana for your hero power, so it's just you get a free 2-1, and you get to use your hero That's power. That's exactly right, yeah. If you're looking to use your hero power anyway, and then you think about things like Frostlich Jaina. For sure. Just being able to cheese out or cheat out uh, cheaper hero powers is pretty exciting. Yeah, this or seems you're, like it could you're be just playing someone like Zoo, and having a free 2-1 is, is good for you. Oh, exactly, yeah. And keep in mind, this is a neutral card, not a mage card, so every class can play this. If we look at, uh, for instance, uh, hero cards, too, this is a nice way to get some extra cheap yeah, hero, absolutely. Plays out, hero, card, uh, hero power plays out. So that's a neat little guy. And I love the idea that uh, that uh, not only are we look at it like the giant trolls and the the giant dinosaurs and all these uh, big characters of the Gurubashi Arena, we've also got a water boy here of course. who's running water to his uh, to all his uh, troll champions. And, uh, and oh, 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 speak of the devil. <laughs> all right, all right. So, okay. Pyromaniac, we've already seen this. This is, a, this is a card that's already been revealed, but the one we just referenced. Great synergies here with Waterboy. It seems like we're going to have some hero power synergies. As far as a play this turn is concerned, 
Uh, I don't know that we have a good way to activate the pyromaniac here because this is just only one book. damage. Draw so a I think it's time. We're gonna find some more new stuff. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see. And you promised me I won't. Spirit oh, of the Dragon Dog. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> well um, not a. Oh, yeah. This is, like the, <laughs> this is the best draw ever. So I don't know which to look at first, but I guess we're gonna look at the legendary first. So we got Janelai the Dragonhawk, the new Loa for Mage, seven mana, four four beast. Battle cry, if your hero power dealt eight damage this game. <laughs> if your hero power dealt eight damage this game, summon Ragnaros the Fire Lord. And it also has a little uh, keyword here to tell us how many are left. Oh yep. my yeah, gosh. So you, you won't see that in the collection, but I, you'll see it in game. I gotta play, but we gotta also look at the spirit now too. Spirit of the Dragonhawk. Uh, of course, zero three, two mana, stealth for one turn. Your hero power also <laughs> targets adjacent minions. Like kind of oh, like Zentimo. Oh my goodness! Yes, it's exactly like Zentimo, but with your hero power instead of spells. And so, just to clarify, oh. does an activation of Spirit of the Dragonhawk targeting an adjacent minion also reduce the counter on Janelai, or does each? Absolutely. It does. Yes. So this, so if I play Spirit and I ping here, it's gonna go down to six left instead of eight left. What? We've drawn every new card right in a row. This is unbelievable. So I, I still am thinking about these last ones, but now we've also got the Daring Fire Eater, a one mana two one for Mage. That artwork looks incredible. He's Battle really cool. Cry. Your next hero power this turn deals two more damage. Mm. Oh boy, this is something here. Um, okay, so. We, we can't play Janelai yet, but we don't really need to. We can just, uh, th there's, uh, I'm, my mind is just blown. So it's going to deal three damage for, for Mage right now. Yep. So we can kill off this Violet Teacher. And if we play a Spirit of the Dragonhawk, um, it's also going to, yeah. And uh, wait a minute, how much mana do we have? We're one mana shy of playing all of these things together. Yeah, we could also just wait, because we don't care that much about the Violet Teacher. If he makes a bunch of tokens, we can just clear oh, him next turn. Oh, you're right. Because the spirit well, has stealth I've for already... one turn, so it's probably going to oh, live. Oh, we can just chill. We can oh, just chill exactly. if we want. And, but we can still ping here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Or would we rather just play another water alley, maybe? That's pretty reasonable, too. I yeah. think we'll just play another water alley. Um, I don't yeah, know if this matters. Make sure we get the... I guess I don't actually need to do this, because we're probably going to ping it down next turn anyway. But, okay, so the, the count on this is affected by Spirit of the Dragonhawk. So that's an incredible synergy. Uh, this is really diving hard into hero powers for Mage, at least. It is, That's yeah, exciting. These are all of the hero power synergy cards in Mage in this expansion. Oh, but perfect. Well, we've seen hero power synergy cards in the past with Inspire from the Grand Tournament. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it never took off a uh -oh. ton, but I feel like uh -oh. this has... What? Oh, no. I should have hit that. <laughs> ah, should have hit that. It's okay. I kind of gave it's it a trade back, too. What's the worst a, that can happen? That's a bit of a mistake, I think, but that's all right. Well, we're going to recover with, like, a million with Ragnaros. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We got right, at least two right. Ragnaros incoming. I don't think we can maybe make more. Probably only two. Uh-oh. Right. He, he, just token Druid here. Uh-oh. It is good for our hero power, though. So that's frozen. So now we can... Now we can uh, this is alive because it had stealth, which is nice. So the Violet Teacher could not trade into it. Yep. So... Uh, now if we ping here, we're going to we hit off all three of these. We could play Pyromaniac if we wanted. We could also play Pyromaniac to draw a card. And uh, we could even do all of that for free <laughs> with Waterboy yeah. as well. Or we could even freeze stuff with Icewalker, the return of Icewalker. Um, so another question about mechanics here. Does this freeze all three targets? It does. <laughs> oh, wow. Now that's exciting again. Oh, man. That's so cool. So, I guess we'll just, uh, we don't really need this to do more damage right now. Um, because we just, we're going to kill off these 1-1s, one although we're going to leave ourselves exposed to quite a quite a few 2-2s. Two uh, what do you think the best play here is, Peter? I'd say maybe just ping and trade into a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, sound, that seems fine. that sound reasonable as far we can, we can go ahead and Pyromanic. So this that draws us three, does this draw us three cards? It does, yeah. <laughs> Of course it does. All of these are consistent. Uh, we don't need this to be decided, right? So yep. we're going to draw three cards. We don't, good. we don't need to freeze. Maybe we should have played this to, to uh, get a free body out, perhaps. Oh my gosh. It actually animates those each individually. Oh, I've waited too long. I've, I've, okay. uh, I've. You got it. This is a, this is a consistent thing for me. <laughs> oh, so we do have more spirits. That's right. Right, because right, we, we copied them. We copied And so if you check Janelai, you're down to five, I think. Oh my nice. gosh. That's crazy. So, 
to talk about the payoff here for Janelai, I think it should be pretty clear that a seven mana four four that summons a Ragnaros it's pretty good. is very good. It's it's quite reminiscent of Spiteful Summoner, a four four that sure. summons a big body. But unlike Spiteful Summoner, which has some you know some downsides, inconsistencies because you don't always know what uh, you're going to get, Ragnaros is a very good minion. And it, that's Ragnaros exciting. is pretty good and also, also not in standard. That's what I was just going to say. It's so cool to bring back cards from wild format like Ragnaros, a card I I absolutely love. Moved to the Hall of Fame. A little bit sad to see. Go probably good for the game ultimately, but <laughs> having it return probably back is exciting. Yeah, right. Nurse is awesome. Man, oh, that's so cool. Also, just the theme here, I guess. Fire being, a, a, you know, the the mage. Yeah. I don't know exactly what Janelai's story is as Aloa, but uh, oh uh, man. she really likes fire. <laughs> it seems like it looks like maybe her wings are a little bit on fire here. Very, very cool. I'm so glad you guys picked mage. Thank you for picking mage. <laughs> I, we have to get a Ragnaros here. Surely Chucky or Reels, whoever this is, will will take it easy on us. Um, Icicle. Oh, we have so many cards now. Oh, we have Hexlord Malakras. Not something I think we're going to be playing because I think right. we had just a couple things. Um, so this has nothing inside of it as far as a uh, Death Rattle is concerned. Yep. So we could maybe trade here, pop out the 2-2, two -two, or we'll alternatively. Get rid of the teacher. Um, the teacher is generating a lot of value. So we could go here as far as our pings are concerned with Spirit of the Dragonog. Nice thing about this, too, is that it is cheap enough that you can play it out and not feel too bad doing it the same turn. It's not just relying on a stealth for next yeah, turn. Yeah, absolutely. It's so flexible at its cost. So I think uh, we want to ping multiple in uh, multiple bodies here. Yeah, we maybe can even make it do three damage with our Daring what Fire Eater, right? So yeah, we maybe we Icicle the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, okay, so we, we have the, the three three health guys in play. Yeah, I like this. So then we're, we're going to be pinging on the middle the guy, yeah. Okay. Oops. Oh, I'm taking too long here. And Daring Fire Eater. <laughs> Figuring out all these new new artworks. And then I think, we're, are we saying we're trading into the Violet Teacher? I think so, yeah. Just in case. Okay. Getting emoted. Yeah. Okay, so not the smallest board, but... And I think... Still, the ping here is going to be pretty nice next turn. I think we have Ragnaros online. Oh, no way. Already? Oh. <laughs> that seems like it went so fast yeah. with these. <laughs> the spirit makes it activate so quickly. As long as your opponent's playing a lot of minions, I guess if they're playing taller boards, it might be a little bit harder to achieve that quickly. But if they're Even a token then. style deck, this is odd paladin's nightmare. <laughs> just pinging everywhere all the time. Yep. Just three pings constantly. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going to feel compelled to play this because I want to see Ragnaros, but I'm really not sure it's the best play. That said, though, without our ping doing additional damage this turn, we really don't have good ways to clean these up right now that I can see. Yeah, not really. Uh, we're kind of, we could maybe dig for the other uh, Daring Fire Eater, I believe the name was, yep. that we wanted with the Book of Spectres. That leaves us with seven mana. We could still play Janelai as a last mm -hmm. resort in that scenario, but Janelai, the, the Ragnaros uh, effect, not necessarily great against a token board. Those 8-8s are going to be hitting smaller guys pretty yeah, consistently. We could play the Ice Walker and freeze a lot of his board. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I like that. Ice Walker okay. and, and freeze the board. Uh, what would we freeze, you think? I would probably freeze. Right there. If we're going to do that, we'd probably book a Spectres first, then? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see if All we right. can find the, the Daring Fire. Oh, oh that's pretty good. Gnome. Another card that's been revealed previously, but pretty exciting here. Our opponent certainly has more than two minions. So we could Belligerent Gnome Ice Walker and Ping for six yeah. mana. We have seven mana remaining. I like Seems that. Feels pretty good. It feels good. We're protecting our spirit, which is nice. Uh, I don't know. We've we've kind of he, he positioned really well here around our freeze effect because we've we've got five attack over here and five attack over here. Yeah. Uh, either but, way. But this trades a little more favorably there. I think we can force the two twos in. Yeah. Maybe. We do still have one more spirit of the bat of the dragon hawk. Oh, we do. Yes. I really like the way this deck is. Oh, it doesn't oh, it freeze. Oh, didn't freeze. Oh, okay. Well, it freezes one. We know that now. We'll uh, we'll keep that in mind for the future. I really like the way this deck plays, though. This is very cool. Hero powers are one of the things that makes Hearthstone really great compared to a lot of other card games I've played. It, it makes each class feel so unique. And empowering the hero power like that is really nice. So, I mean, I think we're going to start turning the corner here a little bit as far as uh, stabilizing. I don't think we're dead, which means we're we're gonna play Janelai next turn. Yeah, I for sure, of course. <laughs> I think we have to. We have I to. almost don't even care what the board state looks like. I'm a little worried, like double Savage or is gonna come, and I'm gonna lose my chance. So uh, it's, it's gonna it's gonna happen, guys. Don't worry. Don't fret. Don't worry, Chad. <laughs> um, 
I think he does need to prioritize the Spirit of the Dragonite, though, which is intriguing. Yeah, which is good. It's, it, you know, these cards create a lot of frictions. They almost have that pseudo taunt style where you kind of have to respect them because otherwise the potential snowball value is way too high. And oh, <laughs> another synergy card. Uh, not not great right now, though. And, and again, because we don't have the Daring Fire Eaters uh, buff on the hero power making it do additional damage, I think we're just going to go for Janelai. And then probably trade and, and ping through. Yeah, we can get Waterboy out, too. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We can finally play this guy. I've mm. kind of been sitting on this for a while. Perhaps I've neglected our friend the Waterboy. So we'll Waterboy, we'll ping... <laughs> And we'll, uh, for a second, I forgot this is going to be zero. That's perfect. And then we'll play Janelai. And we're going to be quiet here to hear the entrance animation yeah. and the sound effects. So listen, chat, listen. That's <laughs> so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it. Face. Oh, I love face. it. Oh. <laughs> you wanted to go face, of Always. course. That's Ragnaros' one destiny is to go face. That is so exciting that he comes back. He's even got a Rastakhan's uh, logo there behind does, his tech. Yeah, That's is, very cool. This is a Rastakhan's Ragnaros. It really yeah. channelized Ragnaros. <laughs> I kind of wish that was the name of the expansion now. Rastakhan's <laughs> Ragnaros. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. I think it might be uh -oh. a good thing we played this when we did. Man. Oh, that's... Now, let me ask you something. If you bounce... Janelai the Dragonite back to your hand via whatever mechanism, Youthful Brewmaster. Does the count start over, I'm presuming? No. It doesn't start over? No, no, no. It just tracks this game. Oh, it's the whole game. Oh, my gosh. So that's actually pretty exciting. Yeah. That could do some nifty things. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Huh. So if so, if I were to draw this, this uh, works like we've seen with like Giants and other things in the past where if I were to draw this now, it doesn't have to be in hand. It's just ready to go. It's just it ready to go. Instantly be ready. Oh my goodness, that is exciting. Well, I I feel like maybe we could play it again. We have a great turn here. Yeah, Channel I into Fire Eater into Ping. And trade. It's going to yeah. clear up most of this. Uh, this is going to be at one health, I guess, right? So we maybe don't need well, to trade. Well, we we don't have the spirit out, so it's not going to. Oh, oh, of course, of course, we lost. We, we our could play spirit. the spirit. We I have forgot. one, but yeah, but then we can't play second Ragnaros. Then we Ragnaris. can't play second Ragnaros. Well, I think we we just ping and trade this. Take the chance for the 8-8 eight eight to hit the Cenarius, and uh, that sounds right we to me. should be good to go. That is such a cool combo when you get the Fire Eater, the Spirit Hawk, and your ping. That's a very powerful clear. So it doesn't really matter here how we do this. But we're taking a 50-50, and I think we've stabilized. I think I, we're going to win this okay. game. Uh, face! Oh, <laughs> you still want it to go face. Even I always want it to go face. Clearly the minion's better. That's funny. Oh, yeah. It's, well, it, I mean... So we're down to six cards. We've drawn through our deck surprisingly fast. Have, yeah. Maybe I'm just having was so a lot of card I might just be having so much fun uh -oh. with this. Oh, that's only two oh, it's cards. Only cards. cards. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? This game's got okay. so fast. It's been so much fun. Uh, okay, so w what was our opening hand? I can't remember what the third card was. I believe we had Frostbolt. Archmage Eric. Oh, Frostbolt. That's not a bad, bad, a bad card to see here. We could. Uh, Frostbolt the... Oh! <laughs> oh, never mind. I think I know what we're playing. That's, that <laughs> seems like, pretty good. If you're not dead, it's always right to play Jaina. That seems uh, pretty good. I think we're not dead. Yeah. We're dead to Savager, I think. But. We're creating some... Uh, no, don't say that. You're going to jinx us. Don't say that. We're creating... He's going to have to do some of them with these now because he, he has to... Oh. All right. He has to respect our ping. Eight. And Jane... It, so already an amazing set yeah, we're not dead to pro of hero power synergies, and then you, you pile Jaina onto that. And yeah, it's absolutely. Like scary good, I feel like. That seems so strong. It's worth mentioning a lot of these cards are odd. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. So an odd mage deck where you already get an upgraded hero power that's dealing two damage. Yeah, so and Janelai, then, Pyromaniac are both odd. Oh, The spirit's my actually even. Goodness. But... Wow. We wanted to keep them a little bit separate just so you could try the even version or the odd version. Right. You're probably right. going to do the odd version because Ragnar is awesome. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but still, there's a lot, lot of ways to work with that. Even just the default hero power is, it, even with uh, Daring Fire Eater, like that's a four damage ping then. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, man. It, do, it does add two to the damage. Is that right? I'm yep. not looking at the card. So, man, that's going to be a lot of fun. And no Savitor, just a Firefly. Just a Firefly. <laughs> 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 just chipping away at this board. Um,. I guess we don't yeah. seem to have a good ping at the moment, although we could refresh our hero power. So yeah, ping, I was going to say, we could, we could spirit, ping, pixie, ping, and get three fire ele or water elementals? No way. Oh, sorry, just two, because the Is that enough mana? This is four, seven, nine. Oh, no way. Is this real? 
Come on, this is too good. <laughs> so we do this, and then we do this, and then we do this. Yeah, so we'll, we'll only get two, I think. Yeah, but this is not going to die, but... Um, did I... Yeah, I did that right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. Ragnaros finally snipes there. And, oh, Ragnaros is an elemental. elemental, so he heals with Jaina. Wow, I love this deck so much. I'm playing this day one, even though I've already played it. So this is one of my this favorite is, decks. This the is new, so the new good. <laughs> Wrath for oh, one on Ragnaros. Awesome. Wrath has got nothing on Rag. Well played indeed. I like our chances yeah. in this one. I think I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at. I like Cold Rate as a card already, and it's even better in this. It's cool. We should probably play Malacrest just so we can see oh, the Oh, of course. The yeah, visuals. that's a great idea. You are smart. Um, yeah, okay. We're going to get Frostbolt, too, which isn't bad here. So. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I wasn't quiet enough. I'm sad. Like, I <laughs> maybe interrupted a little. But um, let's just... Uh, I don't really think we... Well, we might need to kill that because it's uh, potentially going to summon some 1-1s. One -ones. Although 1-1s one -ones aren't bad for us now that I think about it. We're a mage. We're Jaina. Maybe we should let him summon some 1-1s. <laughs> Either way, we're feeling very good here. I knew we were going to win. I knew we'd be on my side. It. We you, had it. You're good at Hearthstone. I'm okay. And perfect game with 30 health. Oh, you're right. It's looking good. Almost drawn every card, too. And we drew all of the reveal cards. Like, one like, for yeah, one. exactly. Right? The row that was a perfect. Well, it helps that we yeah. drew our whole deck, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true, and I didn't burn anything, which is important. That's pretty that nice. Was good. Um, okay, we're not quite yet on lethal, I don't think, but getting awfully close. Yeah, I think we're one short. So. Yeah, one off. We could, yeah. We could maybe find. Is there another Pixel frostbolt or in the deck? Uh, I don't have space for uh, Pixie now, but either way. We'll just drop through the entire deck. Second belligerent, though. This is a nice little deck. This felt really good. It's pretty fun. I, I like this one a lot. I liked it a lot. Man, the synergies are very sneaky good. Spirit of the Dragonhawk seems like a great card, even without Janelai. Like, it's, yeah. it's independently strong, yeah, which is nice. Uh, again, just the odd paladins and the token decks of the world. It seems like we've seen a few mechanics here which are... Or um, slowing some of those token downs. Yes. Uh, we were going to finish it with Ragnaros. He didn't let us. No. <laughs> no. Uh, still, though, really, really fun game. That was amazing. So are we going to take a quick look at those cards again at the full view, I guess, maybe? Yeah, let's or? take a look at those and yeah, in all was, their glory. Yeah. Up first, we had Janelai the Dragon Hawk, seven mana, four, four. I just love this as like a controlled, reliable, spiteful summoner. It still takes a little bit of work to achieve, yep. but the effect is so strong. And, and again, I just can't Seven get enough. Seven mana Ragnaros. I can't get Seven enough Seven mana Ragnaros. Ragnaros. <laughs> so uh, a fantastic Loa, and I think we've already seen exactly what kind of deck this fits in, but I'm sure there are other ways to utilize this thing yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure. You could even just put this in super late game control mange with yeah. no hero power synergy whatsoever and just... Just deal the eight damage by turn twenty. It, eventually, you're gonna get there, and it's it's damage dealt, not hero powers activated too, which I think is is pretty interesting because, like you said, with the odd mage, it really only takes four hero powers to deal eight damage instead of a full eight hero powers. So that doesn't really take that long, yeah. particularly in an odd deck where you might have some odd mana turns anyway. And if you generate this guy randomly in something like Hunter or Warlock, oh. whose hero power does a lot of damage. Uh, Warlock dealing damage to himself, of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, you'll get you'll get Ragnaros oh, even faster. That's, that's incredible. I really really like this card. So uh, do we have any other? What's up next here for next cards? Let's take a look. We got Daring, Daring Fire, Fire Eater. Fire Eater. I love the artwork on this one. One mana, one one. Battlecry, your next hero power this turn deals two more damage, and that's just sneaky good at making your hero power deal three. Three is a really significant number yeah. in Hearthstone. A lot of those kind of early to mid-game minions have that three health mark. This guy allows you to really cheaply boost that impact while still developing at least a small presence on the board. Seems Even if quite you just strong. look at him as like three mana, one, one, battle cry, deal three damage, that's like not not bad. Yeah, that, I think like that would be a playable reasonable. card. That feels really strong. It's like pretty close. Yeah, I, okay. So uh, what else did we see here? I think we've got the Spirit. Ooh, Spirit of the Dragonlock. I really like this card. So good at those token boards. 
uh, really for four mana, sweet. you know, dealing, you know, it's, it's it's a bit worse than something like Shooting Star, perhaps, for four mana, but the fact that it has stealth and a six around and yeah. all those other snowball synergy options, this thing really starts to pile up quickly. Right, you get two Shooting Stars, essentially. Yeah. And in the matchups where you want that, that's really good. And then, of course, you have the, the Daring Fire Eater. <laughs> and then, it, then it's not a Shooting Star anymore. As we saw. And I really like that all of them are so low cost. So they're easy yeah. to just flex into a turn, play out. You don't have to rely on the stealth if your opponent has, like, Hellfires or whatever kind of AoE. You can play it that turn and still immediately recognize the value. If this costs, like, six mana or something, it'd be unplayable. Yeah. It'd be so hard to fit in. All of the spirits are actually like that. The most expensive one costs four, oh. and the rest of them are all either four or cheaper. That's great. A, a that's lot of them are in this, like, one to two mana range. Yeah, that's really, really nice. And then I think finally we had uh, Water Boy. Wasafil Water Boy. <laughs> I love this guy. This I feel like great. I have this guy. Uh, so two mana, two one, neutral card. Battlecry, your next hero power this turn costs zero. And that's just a nice little free two one, basically. Which uh, yeah, I think there are going to be some decks that can find some way to utilize that. Maybe there's some sneaky good ways to, to do that or just an early tempo sort of play to help you stop some aggressive deck. But I'm intrigued to, uh, to see how people fit this one in a deck. Anything really good you've seen? I, I think this guy's a cool card. I'm not sure he actually goes in that mage deck because mostly he's just a free 2-1. Right. You're more likely to play like Pixie and reset your hero power. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think it's a cool option for something like Zoo or if there were ever more powerful hero powers or things that you were doing where you had an aggressive deck that really cared about its hero power that could also play even cost cards because mm. there's... There's a lot of aggressive decks that care about their hero power, but they can't play. <laughs> I was thinking about like cards. Odd Hunter, for instance. Like yeah. he'd love to cheat on a three free damage. Love this, but or, uh, yeah, he's two mana. You know, Odd, Odd Paladin too. That's, that's, there's a reason he's two mana. Yeah, very smart. I like it. And it's just a cool card too. And I, I can't wait to buy my Hearthstone water bottle <laughs> coming <laughs> to a butcher store near you in the future. Hopefully, hopefully I, so. Yeah, wow. so I, I think that's all of the cards we have that's to show. a lot. No, you showed a ton of cards. A handful of new legendaries. We saw Janelai, Zintimo. Those were both incredible. I'm uh, beyond excited. I thought that, that was fun. It was, was a fun awesome. game, too. Thank you for winning for us. <laughs> uh, that's important. That's all you. No, you helped. I, I, I very rarely you. get to beat uh, beat Ryan in, in Hearthstone <laughs> games. So. Yeah, I don't win much <laughs> at all. So I, I totally feel you, believe me. So uh, that was great. I think that's all we have for today. Yeah. I, Rastakhan's Rumble, it's coming out in early December. We are incredibly excited about it. You can take a look at rastakhansrumble.com to see the most recent card reveals, uh, to pre-order the expansion. You can also pre-order the expansion in the client. There's two different uh, pre-order bundles that you can do. The community card reveals are going to start tonight, and they're going to go for the next couple of weeks. There's... There's some there's some exciting cards coming out and uh, some Can't really wait. amazing people revealing those cards. I think Regis did a card for us last expansion. I did. It was a lot of fun. I, I think I only get these this time around, but uh, <laughs> this was more than enough. I'm yeah, honored. There's a lot of really fantastic people, so please go out and support those streamers. That's great. Uh, tune in for the final card reveal live stream. That'll be November 28th with uh, Dean Ayala and Brian Kibler. Those are, those are some great guys. Dean is fantastic. Brian's done a lot of great stuff so uh, we are really excited for all of that and thank you so much for joining us here today thanks for having me see you guys